All right, good evening and welcome to the School, School Links webinar. My name is Ronnie Shoa and I'm the Supervisor for Communications and Engagement with WJCC Schools. I'm excited to be here with you all tonight as we showcase school, the School Links platform and how it can benefit you and your student. Tonight we have Mrs. Jessica Walter, Director of School Counseling and College and Career Readiness with WJCC Schools, and Ms. Becca Rogers, Customer Success Manager with School Links. For those of you that may not be familiar with School Links, this platform will help or help students discover their interests and strengths, explores colleges and careers, and creates an individualized career and academic plan that best reflects their post-secondary goals. During this webinar, we will provide a live demo of the platform and show you how you can connect your parent account um, with your child. We will also have a, uh, some time at the end of the presentation to answer any questions that you may have um, as we're going through this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Again, my name is Becca. I'm excited to introduce School Links to you all. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and get started. All right. So tonight's agenda, we're gonna go over a few different things. We're gonna start with talking about what exactly is School Links. So I know we just had a little bit of an introduction, but I'm gonna go into more detail of different activities that students can do in School Links, what exactly we offer to students as well. We're gonna also talk about what your students can do in School Links, how you can create an account and claim your student or multiple students what parents and guardians can do in School Links. So I'll walk through what your account has the access to do. And then I'll also talk about some of our School Links support. So we have a great chat support system that I recommend you utilizing to have any questions answered. I'll also save room at the end for any questions that you may have that are not covered in today's agenda. All right, so what is School Links? So School Links is a college and career readiness platform. We like to say we're a true all-in-one student success platform. So we have the academic and career plan where students are able to actually plan out their different courses for their high school career. We also have um, the ability to store school and student data. There is the parent and alumni portal. We do have the course planning feature, like I had mentioned, for the academic and career plan, along with the goals that students are setting. College search features, career exploration features, Application process where students are able to identify which colleges they're applying to, have transcripts sent out through our uh, system, and also request different teacher recommendation letters. We have college financing where you as a parent and your student are able to see what the cost might be for different colleges and think about different components that go into paying for college. Case management, mentor videos, smart goals, so students Students are able to set different SMART goals, go back and edit them, go back and make sure they're on track to meet what their goals are. We also have a senior year in survey. So that feature allows your seniors to become alumni eventually. So with the alumni feature, they still are linked to their um, school district. They can have alumni transcripts sent out, alumni surveys. Um, the senior year in survey also is a great way to just help pull together all the data of where students are going, what their next steps will be after high school. And then we also have a resume builder among many other features um, to mention. So I'm gonna highlight a few of those features tonight, but I do encourage you to continue to talk to your students about School Links and see some of those features for yourself as well. So it's never too early to start planning for college and career readiness. With schooling, students are able to start the path to college and career readiness while in middle school. Students can begin to understand how college, career, and lifestyle decisions can impact their financial future, and schooling's assessments help students learn about themselves and discover what they want in a college and career and understand the different possibilities that are out there. All right, so what can students do on schooling? When students first log in, they complete the onboarding process. And this process has them take a career interest inventory. They, as you can see here in the screen, they are deciding if they agree or disagree with the statement, if it describes something that they agree with. They're able to learn from this test what their personality type is 
And based off their personality type, we suggest certain careers that would be a good fit for them. They're able to then set an initial career goal and a major or training goal based off that career goal immediately after the assessment. So the first time they log in, they're taking an assessment, learning more about themselves, and then able to set goals that guardians can see and also their counselors. Here's an example of what that looks like, where on the left side, you see the personality match. So in this assessment, their personality match was the craftsman. So they say craftsmen tend to learn through hands-on experiences, be spontaneous, and off of that, it gives them some career suggestions and students are able to select those suggestions or go off of their own of something they've always wanted to do as well. But they're at least having to see some self-assessment and then also setting career goals and major goals. We also allow students to complete different lessons on, around college and career readiness on their own. So they can complete these in school or if they wanna complete some in their free time, it allows them to learn more about different activities such as career exploration, self-discovery, employability skills, planning for the military, all sorts of different areas. I'm gonna actually log into the platform now so I can show you a little bit more of what this looks like as opposed to just looking at a screenshot. So I'm currently in a demo students platform. This is showing what the student's dashboard looks like. Um, I'll give you a chance later to log into a Guardian dashboard and you'll see the similarities to it. In here, there are the side tabs, which I'll touch on a little bit as well. But one of the ones that I'm talking about now is under activities and learning. So these are showing different learning chapters that we offer students to explore. And like I said earlier, learn more about themselves, explore different videos, explore different questions, for example, this first one on self-discovery, we have videos just thinking about who they are, but then we also have um, learning chapters on financial aid, employability skills, planning for colleges, planning for the military. So we really want students to have any opportunity that they want for after high school and try to provide them with as much information as possible of what opportunities there are afterwards for after high school. We also have different activities, including the game of life. So this activity allows students to put in, you can see here this demo one has quite a bit once it loads. Um, students are able to put in different scenarios of what their goals are. So based off of their goal, they're able to see what the average income would be for that. So the financial planning piece and what it would take to get to that goal. So for example, if my goal was to become, let's see, a physical therapist, you can see the average income and it also gives some average expenses as well. They also will see what the minimum education requirement is. So it starts getting students to think about if this is my goal, what's it gonna take to get there? How much, how much college or extra schooling am I gonna need? And what's that cost gonna look like? So I can put in any college to say what that would be. I'm gonna say VCU. And then it also does ask them what their family income bracket is. If they don't know, we tell them the, the average. But then again, it's giving them a more realistic expectation of what that education investment is going to be. So this is just one of our many activities that's showing students are thinking not just about what their next steps are, but what that is going to impact them financially and what are the steps they need to do to get there. So I'll just show a few additional things. And then you'll see down here, this is showing how much money I'm gonna have to borrow because I will need to get a doctorate in physical therapy, what that average loan is going to be. And we give them some information about why that average loan is the way it is what the percentage of um, interest is, and then when they would have it paid off by. Some other things we can do is they can explore different colleges. So I mentioned earlier that we are our college and career readiness platform, but not only do we have different colleges, we also have um, certificate programs, two years degree programs, so they can explore not just a standard four year, but if they are also interested in becoming a plumber or a welder or an electrician, we do have those as well, where they can see and learn more about different colleges there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add in Virginia as a filter and just show you if I click on any of these career profiles, it provides me, or sorry, college profiles, it provides me with a ton of information about the undergrad, the enrollment, the campus setting, the student body population, the different majors that are offered there, the athletics, all this information that is all now housed in one spot. I know when I was in high school, I used to read a book that had um, all the colleges there. So it'd be great to have had a digital version of this to really explore and learn more about colleges that way. We also do have the financial aid piece. So they're able to say if they're in state or out of state, what that's gonna cost them on average per year including living expenses, and then an average cost for books and supplies as well. We also have admission chances, and then based off of data being uploaded of what their SAT scores, ACT scores, GPA, it gives them what their chances are of getting accepted into college as well. We also have our career center. So we do have those in-depth colleges, but we also have in-depth careers. So students are able to search for any career they want, or they can narrow it down. If they have no idea what they wanna start at, they can see where their job openings are and common careers. They can select any state or just default to Virginia. They can also filter by if they need a degree or no degree needed. Again, we wanna make sure they have different options and know what is out there and what they need to work towards for that goal. Under each of these career clusters, sorry, career profiles, we do have career clusters, but career profiles, they're able to learn everything that they would ever want about that career as well. So similar to the uh, co college profiles, we do have career profiles where they have different videos. They can learn what exactly this job does. They can learn about the job growth percentage the education required, if they need to have, like you see here, they have to have a master's degree, the um, licenses required, what are some important qualities? So not just if they're interested in it, but also what are some skills that they need to be able to be successful in this career? And we do have letting them know what major that would be a good, good major to pursue if they're interested in that career as well. They're also able to see the career outlook on the average um, salary across the nation compared to this particular career cluster, and then also the amount of job opportunities. With that, they're also able to apply, um, going back to colleges, they are able to actually indicate which colleges they are applying to so that their counselor knows where to send their college applications. This, of course, is a demo student. I don't know any student that would fill out uh, over 50 applications, but um, they're able to put in different applications, see what the requirements are, request teacher recommendation letters directly through the platform, um, report their results here, indicate where they're enrolling so that counselors are able to gather this information easily, students are able to report it easily. They can even see once certain Transcripts have been sent out, their recommendation letters have been fulfilled. They're able to see the timestamp and when the colleges have actually received it as well. The other thing I wanna talk about are the different goals. I'm gonna go to here. You can see here are the different goals they're able to set and then are also the SMART goals. So students are able to set SMART goals directly here. They can indicate the different letters and fill out what their SMART goal is their counselor or their advisory teacher or their um, staff members can see these goals and help them achieve them as well. Another thing I wanna to touch on is we do allow uh, students to fulfill and create resumes in the platform. So every student does have a profile. And if they start with this profile in middle school, it follows them through high school so they can add on to it every year. You can see here, this student has started creating their different goals. They filled out what their top strengths are, their top achievements. We provide different um, uh, areas for them to edit so they can fill out what would be needed to create a resume. They can also add in different experiences. So they're able to fill out these different areas, volunteer, extracurricular activities, hobbies, any licenses or certifications. 
So they're able to fill out all this information. We give them in the format that they're filling it out. So they're able to start creating a resume. And then they're actually able to download this and it does create a resume. So I'm going to show you quickly of how I would download it as a student of what that would look like, just give you an idea of something that they're able to create. So instead of having to start from scratch on creating a resume, we actually allow them to create directly in the platform and then they can take that away with them. And this is showing here how that resume format is created. And it even shows the name. I don't know if you, sorry, I ran over that part, but you put in your address, your phone number, your email, it's normally at the top of a resume. And then it's filling it out in that format of what was put into the platform. So it at least gives them a great starting place. And then again, they can take this with them and continue to add to it once they graduate or are in college. All right, those are a few of the features. Let me see any other great features to highlight. We do have the course planner feature. So this is part of the academic and career plan where they're planning out what are the remaining requirements that they need for graduation. They can also do, um, this is a different demo than what Williamsburg has, but the personalized plan is what we call the academic and career plan. This is where students are able to put in one place their goals, their assessments. I'll go ahead and move over this slide deck so I can show you what yours looks like. Your goals, your assessments, your course plan, so that students have it in one spot and are able to see what they're working towards each year. As a guardian, you are able to see this. So I will show you a little bit more of that once we get over to the guardian side. All right, so I know that was a super quick overview of all the things you can do. Again, there is even more. We do have scholarship matching, college financing, um, more on the career piece, but those are just a few to highlight. Highly encourage you, appreciate you being here. Highly encourage you to have your student um, show you a little bit and explore with them as well. As a guardian now, how you log into your account, I'm gonna actually walk through from this demo student of how they would go through their claim code. So Ronnie, if you wanted to drop in the, um, yes, that, thank you. So he's, so Ronnie just dropped in how to get started with school links. I'm gonna also walk you through the process um, in real time. So if you wanna follow along, you can do that as well. So at first you will need to get your claim code from your student. Every student has a claim code. Where that can be found is under this gear icon for the settings. They'll click on account settings. And then they'll see here their different settings. And the one that they'll need to go to to find the claim code is your guardians. So again, it's the gear icon, your guardians. They're able to click view guardian instruction and in unique claim code. And there is this long, um, I guess not too long, this uh, hyperlink that they can copy and paste that directly into um, your search bar. Oh, I'm logged in, I have to log out, sorry about that. But this is also the, I wanna highlight that this part right here is the actual claim code. The very last few letters are the claim code. So if you try to put in this whole thing as the claim code, you're gonna get an error. If you are able to copy this directly, it will take you to the sign-in link. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these last few letters to go to my claim code. I'm gonna log out of my account now to show you the next steps for once you have that claim code, how to actually get in as a guardian. All right, so I'm at the schoolings.com page. You can go here or go to schoolings.com, hit the login button. You'll see there is a students and staff section and then a guardians and members. But you'll also notice if it's your first time logging in, you'll need to sign up first. So the bottom of the login page, there's a sign up as a guardian section. So if I click on this link, it's going to take me here where I need to put in that claim code. So I had copied just the end part, not the whole hyperlink. I'm gonna paste that end part of the claim code select my relationship. So I can select any of these or other, and then add. From here, you should see your student's name and your relationship that you put for them. You can make a change as well, so that you know you have claimed the correct student. If you get an error, that means that you've put in the claim code incorrectly somehow. 
But from here, you'll then need to create your actual login. So you can either sign up with an email, sign up with your Google sign-on, or sign up with LinkedIn. So um, I'm not going to actually do that, but I'll log into a Guardian account to show you what that looks like if I go back. So once you have set that up, moving forward, you're able to log in from the Guardians and Members tab by either doing the email, the login with Google, or logged in with LinkedIn. And Becca, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, thank you. Just to let everyone know, the link that was just posted in the chat does go to the WJCC website, which has all of these steps for you as well and direct links. So um, while this is great information, we know it might be hard to write down all at once. So um, if you like to follow that link, then you will be able to uh, get this at any time as well in the future. Thank you. Sorry, just wanted to chime in. No, very helpful. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and log into a demo Guardian account just to show you what this looks like. So this is the Guardian dashboard. It is slightly different um, from the student dashboard. I do wanna point out that once you have logged in, you are able to add additional students. So you need to first claim one student, um, create your account, and then from here, you are able to add additional students in your actual account. Um, so you'll see I'm at my guardian dashboard in the middle, it says my students and then underneath the names of my students, I can add or remove additional students. So you only have to create one account and you can add as many students to that account as you would like. All right. So as a guardian, you're able to do a lot of the similar things that a student can do. You can also see uh, any of the activities that your students has been completing. So I'll go back to the account in a minute. You're able to see if they've completed different career interest inventories, some of those different learning units, what goals they have set, if they've completed the five-year course plan. You can view test scores, graduation plan progress. Um, you can view any surveys they've done, any colleges they favorited, any careers they favorited. So you're able to see anything pretty much they have been doing in the platform. You can also do a few things on your own. So I'm actually gonna go back into the account. I think it's a little bit easier and more user-friendly if I click around and show you all the things you have the ability to do. All right, so I'm again, I'm in the Guardian account now. My students, you can select either, I have two students I'm under, you can select one of their names. It's gonna now take me to what is called their case file. So at the top, it shows case file sections. So I can see, I'll also note, this is showing different items that my student has been assigned. So I can see if the district has assigned different tasks for students to complete in the platform, and if they have completed them, or as you can see here, they have one item overdue. So I can see any of these tasks that they need to complete and what they have remaining to do. And then um, I can also see different school events, so eventually, if different events are assigned to guardians who want to register for, you can see these are all test ones for the test account, but there is the ability to actually register for events as well. And then at the top underneath my students is where I can see all the sections of the case file, which is all of the different assignments and tasks that students have completed in school links. So when I uh, drop down that menu, I can see different assessments. So if students were, were, sorry, finishing those different, this is the um, onboarding assessment. If they complete different assessments within our platform, I can see what their results are. This is a great example of that onboarding assessment that students take, and then they are being matched with different career clusters based off that personality. I can also see if they've done different learning chapters. So if they've watched any of those videos, filled out any of those responses, about financial planning or um, for your college, planning for a two-year college, planning for the military, those sort of things. You can also see the game of life. So anything, again, really that they've done in the platform, I can see that. What their goals are, if they don't have any goals yet set up, I can see that. Um, if they favorited different colleges, I can go ahead and show you that piece as well. So this student has favorited two schools. I can see what those colleges are and what they favorited. I can see if their counselor has favorited any schools for them. 
And then as a guardian, I'm also able to add some college recommendations. So this is one thing that you can do in the platform that's not just viewing what your student has done, but you can actually make recommendations for that student as well. And those will appear on their students' guardian list favorited schools. Um, I can also see, so I jumped over the course plan piece. So if the student has planned out their courses, you can see what courses that they have taken, what courses they're planning on taking to graduate. If they had filled out this personalized plan, so I know in um, Virginia, it's called the academic and career plan. Different states have different personalized plans. So you can see those plans as well. And then the college financing piece. So if they've started to put different colleges they're interested in, you're also able to see what that expected contribution will be over four years. All right, so those are some of the main things. You can see different careers. The student has favorited careers, has not set a career goal. The student has set a career goal. I can see what they favorited. So all of those things you're able to see in the platform. You're also able to, on your own, on the side, you have a few different tabs, one of them being colleges. So you have the same ability to search for different colleges that the student does. So this is the exact same screen that I was showing you from the student side. I'm gonna remove the filter, I can add in Virginia. Where you have the ability to also have that same um, exploration piece. So you're able to add in different filters, you can add in the location, the school size, the region. So you can do a similar um, exploration that the student can do. And again, you can create your own list of what you would suggest for the student as well. So you see everything on the career profile that the student can see, sorry, college profile, that the student can see as well, and which colleges offer which programs. So pretty cool to be able to see that as well. And then also with the Career Center, you can explore different careers and explore the career profiles. So. This is showing, again, the exact same view that the student can see on the career profiles. It allows you to explore different careers as well. I can see all the careers. This is being set to Texas. Our company is based out of Texas. That's why this demo account is Texas. Let me go down and change to Virginia. But that's a great feature, how if a student um, knows they want to move out of state, they can look for different job growth, different filters for most common jobs in different states. We don't limit them to just one state. And they're able to see um, the different things here as well. So you can also see different career profiles, have that exact same capability and explore careers and start conversations with your students of, did you know this career even existed? Since today's day and age, there's always new careers populating. All right, you're also able to see the scholarship matching. So this is a really cool feature. Um, so your student, they're able to do a scholarship matching on their side where they're filling out a few different things. They're filling out their eligibility. So if they answer a few questions of, if they're a first generation college student, for example, um, or what their GPA is, and they also answer what their interests are, since certain scholarships are offered based off of what you want to major in or career pursue, um, what colleges are interested in. So they're able to see based off of that what scholarships are a good match for. So as opposed to just searching up any college online, they're able to see that. And then this is showing all those different scholarships. So you also have access to see all the scholarships that are offered um, nationwide as well. All right, so those are a lot. I know I went over that as a lot of information, a little bit of time. Um, a few other things I wanna point out before we open up for questions. Um, we do have a chat support system, like I had said. It's available Monday through Friday. There's a live person there, 8.30 till 6.30 Eastern time. And you'll see the chat feature is down here, this little green um, uh, message icon. If I click on it, you can see here, it will first bring me to a few help articles. So we do have a lot of different help articles as well. Um, we have help articles that are specifically written for guardian and parent accounts. Um, you'll see here, it says we'll be back tomorrow because it is 631, so we are not online right now but you can still send a message. And if you have a question, it will get answered tomorrow morning. Um, so you're able to ask any question here, even before you have your account created. 
So if you have a question, I can show you if I log out, this icon will still be there. If you have a question, like if you're not able to get in or you're having issues creating your account, having issues claiming your student, you are able to message us and we will see that as well. So even before you're in your account, we can see what's going on and what's happening. And you can let us know information about what district your school goes, your student goes to, if you need help connecting, um, and we can help you there as well. I also, let me go ahead and log back in because I also want to show you our help center that we have all the articles. And it did not log me into the right account. So let me go back over here and log in this way. Okay. So we also have this help center, you know, a lot of information, um, that question mark. These are different articles that we have. If you're curious and want to learn more about school links um, from the Guardian side, you can explore this um, and explore these different articles as well. So we do even have getting started articles um, and you're able to explore those as well. All right. So I know I ran through that pretty quickly. Do we have any questions to open up? If you do have questions, you can put them in the Q&A section of the screen and I'll monitor those and we're happy to answer them. Thank you, Ms. Rogers. Thank you, Mrs. Walter. As we wait, as uh, questions start coming through, if you all have any questions, um, I will drop a link in the chat right now. Um, if you all don't mind taking a brief five question survey just about the webinar today, because um, your feedback is incredibly important for us to uh, improve our future webinars um, moving forward. Also, while um, you know we're giving individuals some time, um, I do want to just point out that we do have two more upcoming family academies. Um, one is on May 4th at 6 p.m. That's going to be held as a webinar, um, and it is titled Talking to Your Kids About Vaping and Other Substances. Um, this webinar is going to cover the latest research on vaping and substance use trends among youth, um, <clears throat> and our guest speaker will provide warning signs of addiction and strategies for having difficult but life-saving uh, conversations with your children. And then shortly after that, about two weeks later, we will be having another family academy um, in partnership with the Peninsula Community Health Collaborative on May 17th. Um, and we will be featuring the Hiding in Plain Sight Youth Mental Health Documentary and also having a panel discussion at Warhill High School. So that one is in person um, and it begins at 5.30. Um, and I will also drop in both registration links for those uh, family academies. And if you all have any um, suggestions for future topics that you would love to hear, there's also a link in the chat for submitting those. Um, and I will go ahead and kick it back to Mrs. Walter and um, Becca to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, okay. Mr. Shawa. Um, uh, and Becca, we can tag team this as well, but um, one question was how the student is or your students are able to get um, the code to you as parents and guardians um, if the student, and I hope I'm understanding this correctly, if the student is inside um, the WJCC platform. So School Links um, is, the students have access directly through their um, Office 365 um, sign on, but they can access that from any web-based um, platform. So. Uh, they can have their one-to-one -one device at home and be able to show it to you that way. Um, they can pull it up at any time and share that code with you. Um, if you have any trouble or if your student's having trouble finding the code and they're at school, they can talk with their counselor. As Becca mentioned, the chat feature, um, even on the outside of the login screen, can help walk you through what to do. But as long as you have internet access, um, and your student can log into their account, um, you should be able to get it. Uh, additionally, I did want to share that on the WJCC website for ease. Um, so for example, if your student is on, not on their uh, school computer, so not used to having certain things already saved and pulled up, um, 
you can go to the WJCC website and under students, there is an online services and support link. And that puts provides direct links to all kinds of platforms that our students use, such as Canvas um, and school links is there as well. So the students could go directly to that site or you could be with your student, go to that site, click on the school links um, icon and then if they are not already logged into Office 365, it will prompt them um, to put their login in and then they'd be able to pull it up and you can follow the steps to get to the claim code. So as long as you have internet access, you'd be able to access that. Uh, Becca, did I miss anything with that? Yes, I was gonna say our site is mobile friendly. So if they even log in on like a smartphone, they're able to also get their, um, uh, access their account settings. Perfect. And then the um, other question was um, about the rising seniors. Um, I guess I can also ask you, we do not give them access to it until August 1st at the earliest. Um, and that's because of Common App. So you can see here, this is again, the demo account, but they are able to sync their Common App account directly with Schoolings. So if a student, because um, I believe Common App does not allow you to actually add anything to August 1st as well, correct? Yes. So. If August 1st, a student is logging in on Common App and filling applications that way, as soon as they log into their Schoolings account, they're able to connect them and it syncs directly. So you can see here some of these applications, they have that Common App icon. So that means anything that was done on Common App is syncing over and showing here on Schoolings. Um, so August 1st, basically, for a long, long winded answer. So um, just to piggyback on that. So the question was how and when, and because I, I don't believe everyone can see it. Um, can and should students rising seniors access the Common App through school links? Um, so Becca just shared a lot of that with you, and I did want to just add um, that our counselors at the high school level have been working with students and have, um, have some plans to get in with juniors if they haven't started already um, this spring to show them this side of school links uh, so that they can be prepared um, not only for, for August, but the fall as well on how they want to use if they want to use um, if they're applying to college, how they can use school links to do that, to manage that, I should say. Those are um, the questions we have now. If you have, if there's anyone else who has a question they'd like to um, provide, go ahead and put that in the area. We'll give another minute or two for that. Um, and while that happens, I just want to highlight a couple places to access this. Um, if you want to look at it again, you will be able to see the live recording on our Family Academy page on the WJCC website. Um, I really am thankful for Becca for being here. Uh, this is a really exciting tool that we just started using this year, um, and it has made a tremendous uh, difference. Um, so we are excited about all of the possibilities that this provides our students, um, their families, and um, our school teams in working with students on some of these. Um, Becca, are you able to show in the in the platform how a student can request a transcript? Yes. So I will show you. There's a there's two different ways. So if it's a college transcript, there's one way. If it's a scholarship or a non college transcript, there's another way. So. I'm in the um, college application piece. So if I go in as a student and I go in and I'm going to add an application, I'll just show you the whole piece of this. Um, let's say they're applying to Virginia Tech. I'm going to add in that school, add that application. There is a few, I know this is more information than what you asked, but I was just showing you kind of the background. Um, the student's able to select which their method is of applying to this college. Of course, all of these deadlines have passed, so it might give me a little issue, but let's double check, save that. All right, so you'll see here now, this is showing that I have uh, started an application for Virginia Tech. I'm indicating to my counselor that this is a college that I am interested in applying to. You'll see that it automatically has this counselor document, counselor, um, uh, sorry, counselor documents that need to be, need to be fulfilled it already has that transcript piece here. So one thing that's great about our system is it already has every year we update, every summer we update what the requirements are for individual colleges. So if a student is applying to, um, I know Harvard has a ton of application, a ton of requirements. Um, the student doesn't have to memorize what all the requirements are. They're able to actually see it. Um, oh, this person has in progress, change. 
They're able to see if recommendations are required. They're able to see if counselor documents are required. Let me refresh this. It's not one of these, but that's exactly how the student would request the transcript. So they're not going to their counselor and telling them by adding this application. And like Jessica had mentioned, Mrs. Walter had mentioned, the um, counselors have been trained, the students are being trained on this so that once a student adds an application, they know to send their transcript for that college. And like I had mentioned, something that's great about this is as a student, I can see exactly when my counselor has fulfilled my transcript, when they uploaded it, and also when they sent it to the college, and also when the college has viewed it. So it gives you a lot more um, uh, dates and timestamps than ever before. So let me see. I know Virginia Tech just showed me that I had actually already had my um, had this fulfilled. So you can see here, it already shows that it was fulfilled. It shows when it was added. It would show when it was sent, when it was received. Um, so students aren't having to actually ask for their transcripts by completing this part. It automatically is showing to the counselor. They're able to be notified that they need to have a transcript sent. For a non-college transcript, um, students are able to go to the school icon and see this transcript request. So this is where if a student wants to send um, an official transcript to uh, NCAA Eligibility Center, if it's a particular email address for, say, a scholarship, um, a mailing address, since obviously that will need to be printed by the school. Um, we do have college address, but we do note that this is more for if it's a summer program, something not specifically like applying to college, that they can send it here, but otherwise they should send it at the first place that I was showing you. So two ways, basically. Hopefully that helped answer. All right. Is there okay. anything else you want me to go over? I know there's a ton I can show you on the student side if you're interested or um, revisiting different areas that I just lightly touched on. Happy to go there as well. Okay, awesome. Okay. Well, seeing no more questions, um, I just, I wanna thank everyone again for attending tonight. Um, as I shared, we're really excited about this platform and the possibilities that it can provide for our students and families here in WJCC. Um, if you have any additional questions in the future about uh, school links, feel free to reach out to your child's school counselor. Um, and if they aren't able to help, because this is our first year, um, we're very fortunate. School links has a great support staff, uh, Becca being one of them, and we can we can find the answer for you. Um, so appreciate you all being here tonight. Um, thank you, Becca. Thank you, Mr. Shoham and uh, Ms. Trott. Have a good evening.